greeting sentient being, and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss some more stuff about the game Greyhack, but quick, just to get this out of the way, it's not real hacking, it's just a game. Alright, let's go. Okay, so you need a job, right? Where do you go? Well, you gotta go to a hack shop to get your job. If you haven't gotten a hack shop yet, you need to go ahead and do the mission to get your hack shop. So go do that. Once you got your hack shop, go here to tabs and uh, find yourself a mission. Since you're just starting off, you're probably going to want a level 1 mission. So let's go ahead and take a level 1 mission here. And then we're going to go and grab this level 1 mission here. And then we're going to go and grab... Uh, we don't want that one. Alright, we're just going to go do those two. Okay, our first mission, we need to get Tyson Benson um, up here in the physics to approved at least. And here is the IP address that we have to attack. So we're just going to go ahead and probe that there. And we take a look and we got to attack that machine right there, which as you can see is that guy right there. And it's got an open port. Now remember we made that port scanner that we had earlier that where you can reach out to any machine on any port open and scan it and exploit it. Well, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to target port 3306. Sorry. 7, because that is our target right there. So that's what we're going to target. And we're just going to go ahead and link to it and scan it. Okay, we got a whole bunch of good stuff. Of course, we have to organize that. Remember, when we organized it, we put it into a list. And we have ourselves here a couple of guest shells, a couple of files. And remember when I told you when you have a file object with a user, you can get the passwords that you need? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look in here. We're going to look in here. We're going to look in here. And then we're going to look in here. And look, we have the passwords. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go ahead and decipher it. And we now know that the root password is that. I'm just going to go ahead and make that a global variable. Okay, now we need to actually get up on the target, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we go ahead back in here, and we mentioned we have this here shell object. We're going to grab the shell, and we're going to upload our rootkit to it, because that seems like a really good idea. And then we're going to go ahead and launch our rootkit on the target so that we can exploit the target. Now you see we're guessed at this long computer name here, and we're in our rootkit with our rootkit stuff, which is quite a lot, but it's it's mostly text files, so it's nothing to worry about there. Okay, right now we are guessed. We want to be root, and we know the root password, and we need to be root because we want to use this here students viewer in the root folder with root permissions. In order to do that, we actually have to start the terminal, which is something that I normally don't recommend, but with these types of missions and the police missions, you just have to. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start the terminal. Okay, now I'm going to drop out of this, and now I am root on this new machine. Um, for some reason with my tool, you have to manually exit out before the terminal thing will start. I don't really know why, but it's just one of those things you got to manually quit out. All right, so now I'm root on this new machine. I can take a look um, using the native tools, and I can see that I have student viewers. And then that's it. So I go here, look for Tyson. There he is. Uh, he needs physics to be approved. That's above 6, so I'm going to give him a 6.1. And I'm going to save, and I'm going to reply and the customer is satisfied with the job and I am done. So I just delete the email, delete that, except I still have something left to do. I need to clean the log and you're all familiar with that. So what I need to do is since I'm still root, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my tool again, shell. Remember I'm root right now and I started the terminal as root, so I, I didn't start it as guest. I logged straight in as root when I started the terminal. So I'm going to run my little doodad right here, and it's called silent clean, which will clean the log for me. And then, actually, I want to get rid of all evidence, so I want to do silent clean d. All right, and that's going to get rid of the directory that I'm in right now. All right, so then I exit from here. 
and then I exit again and then I'm done. Now different tools are going to have different ways of cleaning the log and what you can do after you clean the log and how you can disconnect and that sort of thing. So my tool, what I just did is safe, but normally you want to be really sure about the tool that you're using because not all tools are going to be able to do what I just did safely. But that's uh, that's another episode. This one's just, um, we just updated someone's grades and we got paid. Congrats. Check out the next video. And subscribe and like because like that actually helps us like you know, make the shit. So do it. Hit the button.